It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it One man, one show One I'm army, nigga <laughs> I'm a goat, God, nigga What? Really, nigga? What's good, bitch ass niggas? How y'all motherfuckers feeling, man? So look, we got a lot to talk about Make sure y'all watch this full video and um, subscribe. Like the fucking video, it's free. But look, nigga, so first, um, before I give y'all some amazing fucking rep tips where you can get fucking amazing rep on some stupid, easy shit, my nigga. Like, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all my little method for this conquer shit. Now, I ain't go out here and get my ass beat. Like, imagine getting fucking destroyed by bots, nigga. Even though these niggas are harder than Hall of Fame, like, when it comes to making contested layups, nigga. Bro, I'm not gonna show you the clips or whatever, because I don't feel like fucking looking and cutting all that shit. But, um, nigga, these niggas making layups on three niggas? Like, shots on three niggas? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I can understand if he, like, kill your shit or, like, but come on, bruh. Y'all just letting the shit drop? Like, that shit is annoying, my nigga. Annoying as shit. Park not like that. Pro-Am not like that. <laughs> Niggas is missing layups in park. Why the fuck these bots make every fucking... Y'all better not ever make the park like that. God damn, nigga. That shit is annoying. Bro, that shit is obnoxiously annoying. I And I know you niggas agree with me. Y'all let me know. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is fucking toxic, bro. Three niggas, like, I'm talking in this nigga shit. And he make that bitch if you don't block it. Like, come on, bro. Like, stop, nigga. What the fuck? But look, so a lot of y'all were doing this rap method and shit, but we wanted to rep up our players, right? And we think this is overall just easy as shit, except for two teams, okay? Um... Basically, bro, we got a nice little post score, me and Steezo, right? And we had him just ISO the nigga and dick the nigga, and he score, and then eventually they would help off in the corner, and then you got a wide open three, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know, they, and then they're, they're gonna stop, they're gonna start just, um, you, you're just you're seeing in the clips, bro, they're just gonna start leaving us open at the three, and that's our fucking method, nigga. It's simple as shit. Then towards the end, we will probably just start trying to cook up on these little toxic bitch ass niggas. Bro, the Rockets is trash. Celtics is trash. Fucking, um, who else? Um, the teams that were hard were the teams with the crazy ass fucking paint protectors like Joel Embiid. Who was the other nigga, bro? Uh, I don't I don't remember the other nigga, but it was two teams with two tough ass fucking centers, right? So those were the hard ones, right? The Rockets, all them niggas was trash. And that team Dwight Howard on fucking garbage. On the niggas, niggas is ass, nigga. But look, so this shit is free wins. This shit fixes your record, okay? It, it you can okay look. What people are doing for these events, if you guys didn't know, is they're finding some foreign nigga, right? And they're joining his server, and they're starting there, and then they'll go all the way to the end. So you know how shit be like, oh, one to five? Nigga, you could start that shit probably like 6 a.m. if you find the right niggas. And then you could be doing that shit from 6 a.m. and just keep joining different servers so you could keep playing and shit and then you could be doing that shit from 6 a.m. to like fucking 6. And you know, that's 12 hours of grind, nigga. And then that shit free wins for Conqueror. Once you learn how to really beat these niggas, you get some good methods, bro. You could do that little ISO shit with the post score and then the rap shit. And then, you know, you hit the nigga. Like, that's some free wins and that's some amazing rep. And it's a lot more durable than playing fucking my career, nigga. And you could do that method in Reese's too, nigga. You know, you join the shit might be delayed as shit. I hear uh Gold Rush was today. I'm not playing that shit. I know the delay is gonna be out there. I'll do it later. You feel me? Once I'm a fully alchemated motherfucking swan, but I heard niggas was getting delayed, and look, 2K, 
why does only see i can understand if you said like only one team won you know like a group of niggas like you gotta like like you know but why is it only the top one person that wins the boost uh what the fuck and you can do the time zone shit on that shit too but come on bro what the f what, what are y'all doing so it's like why would people play with other people if they're not gonna win bro everyone's gonna find some bitch ass niggas so they that will let them get the number one spot and like come on bro 2k y'all out of touch or is that a glitch like god damn uh, like make people sign up for playing with each other and then like drop I, I don't know but you know I think that shit's stupid I don't know if y'all don't want to do the top 10 shit but it it should at least be like top three bro or just a team thing I, I, I don't fucking know matchmaking like what the f one person win like what, what the fuck are y'all doing bro that y'all let me know how y'all feel about that shit bro that that shit is that shit is wild and I got hella messages saying certain niggas was boosting and shit, bro. Um, honestly, they should make all events matchmaking. And they should make that conquer shit, in my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all feel like. They should make that conquer shit um, where, like, no one else is around. Like, what the fuck? Like, we're already not playing, you niggas. So, like, why do I have to see you niggas? You feel me? I don't know. I don't know. That That's just me. But I guess they would never do that the conquer shit so i don't feel like i don't like waiting on niggas and shit that shit is lame but i think ruffles and fucking uh the state they're they're not gonna change this shit either they not gonna make this shit matchmaking bro because they they got that whole side of the park that's interchangeable man they not gonna make this shit matchmaking that's a sad day bro because look the layers are still here, bro. I've, I've seen some clips, my nigga. Hey, the layers, we cool. You, you feel me? Like, don't, don't fuck with me. But, like, if niggas got a problem with you, they just come delay your shit, you know? Like, say you streaming, that they just attack streamers and YouTubers, especially in these events. Niggas are wasting their time. I mean, even though niggas is getting follows and subs and shit, like, heightened. But, I mean, niggas just come ruin all that shit. That, that shit, lame as shit. And then for you Randeezys that are actually good at the game, you're not going to be getting hella games as like a, a streamer or something. And niggas might even throw games for streamers and YouTubers and shit. So I don't know, man. I, I think they should definitely um, make that shit matchmaking. But I don't see that shit happening, bro, to be honest. Bro, but <laughs> to keep it a hundred with you, dog. I would rather the, the AIs, I mean, I'm not bitching or anything, I don't care, because I got methods to always beat these niggas, but what what if they increase the difficulty on that shit, nigga, and that shit count on your record, like, nigga, I, I, I'll be pissed, you know, because I can understand if niggas is just dicking you, right, but, bro, what the fuck, like, bro, I don't know why y'all niggas, niggas was saying, like, these niggas are unguardable and shit, like, you were losing, I mean, low-key, like, Damn, Chris Paul, that nigga, he, he went he went crazy a, a few times. That nigga tried to cook my shit, bro. The nigga was breaking me at half court and shit. Like, oh my God. And then he always shoot the shot. You know it. You jump and he still make it, bro. Like, well, what is this? <laughs> bro, the, the fucking Sixers, nigga. I think it was the Sixers and the Timberwolves, bro. Them niggas are fucking gods, bro. Golden State was probably like the third hardest because them niggas can just fucking shoot in your fucking mouth and make everything. But yeah, oh, let me give y'all another method. So look, when I played the Sixers, right? Because my post score, he was hella pussy, my nigga. Like, stupid pussy for, for certain center builds. Like, Joel Embiid, and I forget the other fucking center, bro. God damn, bro. So look, when I played, I have a shot play, right? If y'all want my build, you can go look at my tutorial playlist. I got to, you know. But look, so my post control, my post fade, it's all 80, right? I got hella post badges and shit on my shot play. And all I would do is we did our ISO method and I would just dick the nigga. Pause. You know, I would do my shit and then bang. You know, that that's how we won that shit. So you face the Sixers and you do this method next time. 
you know, like, do that shit, bro. And then also, like, learn the, the rap method just for when you play certain centers. And I think that would be the ultimate way to really kill this shit. To have some type of post score and then have, you know, a stretch or some shit or whatever and to do the rap method too. Or you could just start off with the rap method and it, it's all up to you, my nigga. Okay, look, another thing I want to tell y'all, bro. Is because Mike Wang reads his DMs and shit, right? Not his DMs, his fucking Twitter shit. If y'all niggas could just randomly, like every day, message this nigga to remove stage or remove record out the stage and just like make it a um like you you guys know when you go to see your record, right? Your like your VIP stats, you see how like the um the wall ball shit or whatever it is. It's a whole separate record, but they don't count on your record. Why the fuck don't they do that for stage? Who the fuck says they want record and stage? Why don't you do that? So so I can see how accurate, like, niggas is nice. You feel me? Because if niggas play stage, they're getting way more L's, bruh. You know, than, than other niggas. You feel me? So if a nigga pull up on me that play stage, I'm not going to really know how good he is. You know? It, it's going to throw me off. It's... Parking stage is two different comp levels, bro. And, like, y'all, I don't know why I gotta keep talking about this shit, man. God damn. And y'all make sure y'all tag me in Ronnie Post, man. Hopefully I get verified. I doubt I'll fucking get that shit, bro. Anyways, lame ass niggas. I'm out this bitch. Hey, if you niggas are actually good, like, you have, like, above a 85 win percent, and you have a fucking shooter. You know, like a two spot or a three spot, hit a nigga up, okay? Or if you're inside, can shoot threes, hit a nigga up. Need a lot of niggas to play with. I'm finna start running on stream, so I need niggas available. I usually play later shit, but I'm trying to switch that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, nigga. But look, make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, subscribe to me on Twitch, turn on my noties for my motherfucking Twitch, turn on post notifications, my nigga. On YouTube, click the fucking bell. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter and follow all of my other social media. Drink a gallon of water a day. And um, shout out to all y'all for all the support, man. I am out this bitch.